Back now with a lawsuit looming over pollution problems in Suffolk. People who make their lives, their living, I should say, off the water and part of that community say the issue is cutting into their bottom line. The areas of concern, the Shuckatuck Creek and the upper part of the Nansman River. The Department of Health has marked these areas off limits for shellfish harvesting. Penny, your side's Andy Fox is here now with more on what's in the water, Andy. Tom and Anita, this lawsuit alleges what's in the water is pollution, that Suffolk and HRSD discharge wastewater and stormwater into the Nansman River and other waterways in violation of a consent agreement that they wouldn't do that. Pollution is the issue. Suffolk Oysterman Robert Johnson. We have several hundred acres of oyster beds that have been condemned by the Department of Health because of bacterial pollution that is being caused by the city of Suffolk and HRSD unwillingness or inability to do the job that they're charged with. And that's why Johnson has filed this lawsuit asking a judge to declare that Suffolk and HRSD are polluting. His attorney, Joe Waldo. The health department, state of Virginia said, the city's polluting these grounds. The oysters are not harvestable. They don't want consumers to get the oysters. In fact, this map on the Department of Health website shows the massive areas of condemned and conditionally condemned shellfish areas in the upper Nansman River, which includes this area going up the Nansman River heading towards Suffolk. Attorneys for Suffolk and HRSD claim improvements have been made and the violations are outside the three-year statute of limitation period. But don't tell that to Robert Johnson. Yeah, they're polluted right now and every day. It's constant right now. We are having a pollution issue that's ongoing. Waldo also argues the city and HRSD are in violation of a consent decree which they have not lived up to. In essence, they said, we'll clean it up. They haven't cleaned it up. Suffolk's attorney Dave Arnold wants the court to dismiss the case for failure to state a valid claim and emailed us, we staunchly dispute that the city is in violation of a consent order or that it has committed any wrongdoing in this matter. As for the condemned shellfish areas, well, Johnson not optimistic. No hope of it getting any better with the action that the city and HRSD have taken thus far. We did not hear from the attorneys representing HRSD. This case scheduled to be heard in Suffolk Circuit Court on April 9th. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.